Welcome to this video on how we teach short multiplication in Casimir International School. By short multiplication, I mean multiplying a two-digit number or a three-digit number or any number larger than that by a single-digit number. It's the next step on really for your tables and you have to know your tables very well to get um, your, your short multiplication accurate. So let's start with a couple of examples. In the first example, I'll go through all the steps in, in great detail and then in the second example, I'll do it a bit more quickly just to get you used to the routine. So the first question we have is 46 multiplied by 8. Now it might not necessarily be written out in this format, it might be written something like 46 multiplied by 8 horizontally, or in brackets 46 by 8, or by a variety of different means. But when we want to solve the problem and work it out, we always write it down vertically like this, with the single digit number on the bottom. So the single digit number is our multiplier. So here 8 is our multiplier. And we always start with the units. So we're going to multiply our units by 8. So 8 multiplied by 6 is 48. That's the same as 4 tens and 8 units. So we put our 8 units down here in the units answer column. And we carry our 4 tens to the next stage of the sum. So we'll put it here on top of the line in the tens column. So now we multiply our tens by our eight. Eight fours are thirty-two, plus the four tens we carried over is thirty-six tens. Thirty-six tens is the same as three hundreds and six tens. So we can put our six tens down here in the tens answer column, and with no hundreds to multiply, so that means we can put our three hundreds here in the hundreds answer column, giving us an answer. Of 368. This is also called the product. I'll do another quick example now for you. So on the next page I have written out horizontally here. So 34 multiplied by 5. So it's always handy to write out your place value. So we've got hundreds, tens and units. And we'll write it out vertically to solve the problem. 34, that's 3 tens, and 4 units multiplied by 5. So our single digit number went on the bottom again, and that is our multiplier. We're multiplying 34 by 5, we're making 34 5 times bigger. So again, we start with our units. 5 4s are 20. That's 2 tens and 0 units. So put our 0 units in our units answer column and carry our two tens. Five threes are 15, plus the two tens we carried gives us 17 tens. Put our seven tens, so sorry, 17 tens is the same as 107 tens. So put our seven tens in the tens answer column. And because we've no hundreds to multiply by, we'll put our 100 into our hundreds answer column. And our answer is 170. 